Welcome to episode three of Carp Pursuit. Now you're never gonna guess where we are. Linear, my favorite, all time favorite day ticket complex. Now the weather is perfect, no excuses on this one. We are going on B2, which gives me, hopefully, a chance of a few fish. Now for those who want a refresher on this, Steve, the lovely cameraman standing behind you at the moment, behind your television, is gonna give me a challenge card, or I'm gonna pick one of three. I have to complete that within the given time, but it isn't quite as easy as that. There are other bits along the way, which I'll bring you in on in a while. So for now, that lovely cameraman I mentioned earlier is gonna give me a card and see what I have got to be challenged with. Stephen, thank you. Right, any <laughs> Oh, he's drawn to the middle one, but it's challenge one. Middle diddle, middle diddle. Oh, excuse me. Right. Well, that isn't actually too bad for where we are. To complete this challenge, you must catch a, this is carp, double, up a double, a 20 pound fish, and a 30 pound fish. But you know what? On B2 of late, you might even be able to put a 40 on the end of that. We'll wait and see. But no, that I'm quite happy with. I'm gonna to speak to him later about what was on the other two cards and see what I might have got or what I might not have got. So for now, thank you very much for Steve. And without further ado, we'll spin this little wheel and see what else he's got in store for me. Whoa, that is new for me, meat and corn. Now we all know the linear fish love sweet corn, one of my favorite baits. But the lunch of meat side of it, yeah, it might be different. It might be different with hook baits as well. We'll see, yet again, we'll see what E has got in store for me. So I'm quite happy with that. Some I haven't done, but it will be this too. With the wheel spun, I wasted no time in heading over the road to Braze Nose 2. At an impressive 34 acres, B2 is the largest lake on the complex. It has an estimated stock of around 2,000 carp, with the biggest mirror going over 46 pounds and the biggest common also going over 40 pounds. Perhaps the most impressive feature about this lake is the countless 30 pounds plus carp that it holds, the sort of carp I would be needing if I wanted to pass this challenge. Right. Well here we are, the point on B2, proper famous peg this one. The weather to be fair, I can't help looking out here, there's one bosh, there's another one bosh. The weather's bob on, so um, hopefully I might get to complete my challenge. Now I'm not going to hang about too long, we have got rain forecast in about an hour and a half, quite heavy stuff all afternoon, so rolly up, get the kit sorted, and then he's gonna have to, he's gonna get his little magic box out the van and let me know what I'm allowed to use and what, more importantly, what I'm not allowed to use. With the gear all set up, it was time to see what that little rascal had in store for me. Right, as you can see, the brolly is up. We've managed to beat the rain, thankfully. Uh, not done nothing with the rods yet at all because I still don't know, get out, get out, mosquito time. I still do not know what that young man He's giving me in the box till probably about now. Yes, he is. You may notice it's a little That's bit bigger. That's a big box. That is a big box. There you go. Get your arms in the Now, I thought you said you were going to the gym. Is it a bar of gold? Because that's usually heavy, isn't it? Right. Let's have a look. Anyway, we'll jerk the side. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. my favourite. Linear specials. That will be going. Look at it. And... If they do come across you at Linear from previous trips, you cannot have enough of this. And I've got 36 tins. Thank you. Right. Let's have a look. Well, see that? We go to the gym and all. 
<laughs> well, that's an old favourite from childhood favourite as well. Now, this is specimen tough. So you need to tell me, Mr. Cameraman, how the hell am I going to hair rig that? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you were just going to use them in big blocks like that. Well, mate, listen, at least it'd be selective, wouldn't it? <laughs> we might not have the doubles, we might catch the 40 pounders. This would be interesting, though, in all fairness. As, as I said earlier, I haven't used this much at all since we were lads going for barbel and chub. But scissors, smash it up. What there's am I going to do with this? There's a little pen knife in there so you can cube all them up. I think. If I come back in a couple of days. <laughs> well, if you go down, what's the nearest pub? The Rose Revived. Give us a couple of hours. I might have one lump chopped up, mate. I am nice to you, so I got you a little present. A little you Uber. spoil me. Look at that. I save you half a day. Wow. This is like Christmas. And it's eight millimetre. So that's a nice size cube and all. Well, having never used one of these, it'll be like a bit like a Meccano set. So, um... I'll have a little look at that once we've found the areas we're going to fish. But yeah, really like this. Now, in here, as I say, the corn, I know will work. This will be interesting. They're not going to not eat that. Well, if not, me and Steve will be... Get some French bread. Oh, yeah. If, if you don't succeed in the challenge... Right. No. <laughs> right. You know where this is going. <laughs> if you don't succeed in the challenge... I've got to eat some. The, uh, the takeaway that was promised is, uh, is a home-cooked meal of... Can I, can I at least fry it? <laughs> I don't know well, With an Oxo cube, because the barber <laughs> used to love that. So. Some and this makes sense. This makes sense, because linear is, or always has been, a predominantly a yellow, sort of, hence the sweet corn. So we've got hit-and-run wafters, lovely, one rod salted. Hit-and-run yellows, obviously. 12 mil pop-ups and the 15 mil. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a rod on each of them. Until then, we've now got a lovely big box to put our rubbish in. Steve, that ain't too bad, mate, is it? Well, and I I've, like the idea I've, of lunch for me. I've, um, I've, I've been kind to you because you I'm going to let you use whatever TT you want I've, you know, in your tackle box. My presentation uh, in my little... Let me so show you my little box, ooh, look. Ooh. My little, wow, you're not showing you what's in my box. There you go, my little box. So I can use all my big stuff and I'll have one on each on each rod. Brilliant, let's get on with it. <laughs> that is such a nice area. Now, I do fish B, uh, B2 a, a fair bit over the years, and I've used this peg a lot, mainly with tutorials or magazine work. So I know roughly where I am is clear. So I didn't clip it up to start with. Threw it at the rough range, and yes, it is still clear. Now, I've, I've had to check it because I had the weed boat on last week, and when they're chopping all these big beds of weed up, it can cover the areas. But 23 wraps, it is nice and clear. Whoa! Come back, I'm guessing, for about 22 wraps, and you hit a really big solid weed bed so that's not a bad area at all guessing it's about seven yeah seven ish foot deep and nice and bumpy you'll do for me having checked that oh look at that having checked that now it's time to get steve's meat chopper out and uh <laughs> sort some bait out sorry steve get sort some bait out i'm going to stick a fair bit of bait in before we even worry about getting the rigs ready it won't hurt sort of prepping the swim anyway maybe drag one of great big shoals of great big carp into the area. Right, having new, never used one of these, it's a little bit like what you had as a child and like a Meccano set. So here we go. Frenzied lunch of meat. Let's get on with it. That, ordinarily, I would say is too good for Mr. Fish. Right, I have tried to work it out. So if I mess it up, we have got as you can see, a whole box full. We're going to bung him in there. I'm guessing. Already. Is that already messing it up? Look, it is like a load of piping putting it together. Oh my god. All right. That's that. I'm guessing. Almost. He's in there now. Right. <laughs> this is amazing. This is a great contraption. Right, now you're going to push that through there without it all falling apart. 
bear in mind I've got to do about 15 packets of this. So whilst you're um, sitting here, that's easier, isn't it? Whack it again. Yeah. Mate, that is, oh my God, what is going on here? Isn't it? I've got tons of this to do as well. It's coming out the other hole. It's coming out everywhere, mate. It's coming out where it shouldn't come out. Oh, that's lovely in there, look. <laughs> Listen, I'll leave this to the matchman, but I will get on with it because I've got a whole box and I do want to use most of it up. So, look at that. Wow, yeah, man. I'm sure there's an easier way once I get going at it, take it all apart and throw it away. Well, there you go. That, you know, Steve said, oh, I'm going to spoil you, don't I? Like, you know. Yeah, I think it's probably easier with scissors, but I am going to master it. But so far, we put that down there, and it comes out in lovely little tiny cubes. So all joking aside, it's the first time I've used one. It won't be the last time, because I've got old box to do. I'll get on with it while he does something else other than laugh at me from behind the camera. Thank you. After spending most of the day cutting up meat, I got to work spawning out a 50-50 mix of meat and corn onto the spot. It was something different they hadn't seen before. three in position at last. But what I've gone with, if you remember, I've got three tubs of yellow hit and runs to use. So I've got a wafter on the middle one, a 15 mil pop-up on the right hand one on a Ronnie, and a, tw uh, what are they, tens or I suppose 11 mil uh, small hit and run yellow on the left one again on a Ronnie. We've done about a dozen spoms of our um, corn and Steve's meat. Uh, see how we go. Now we're in there, there are a few fish coming out around the lake, seen a few jumping, nowhere near we are, but early days we've only just, literally only just sorted our lives out. So without further ado, as they say, kettle on. Last time I spoke to you, I said, we had just done the spot in and we were gonna put the kettle on. Well, I made me and my little mate there on the TV they say, what's a flat white? Well I made us both a flat white. Literally just sat down, left hand rod has done this. Burst into, um, into life. Absolutely rawed off. He's gone well right. So my coffee is now, do you know I've only got, I've only got two more of them sachets as well. Inconsiderate fishes. Just pick it up, I'll take it off you in a sec, mate. Keep coming, darling. Keep coming. Thank you. That's a good fish, mate, that one. 
Well then, Ian. What's going on now then? Do you know, it's just typical. How far did you let this fish go, by the way? I'm 900 metres of line on here, I'm on the back end almost. Um, almost at the first one in which we have got now. And just as well as Stevie is very apt at what he does, this is on the surface, about 100 yards out now, um, the Ryan rods took off as well. It just, this is typical linear fishing, which is fantastic because when they come across you, this is like half a mile away, this fish. When they come across you, they're in groups and you can get multiple takes, which is what I tend to fish here for. Group the, listen, I haven't invented the wheel. You group the rods together, you spawn out on top of it in an area that you feel happy with. And if a group comes through like this, you can get multiple takes. Well, I'm rather hoping that's two of the four that I've been set. What we need is a double and a 20, or a, Mid -double a, tw a 20 and a 30. And a 30. I think the one on the right is going to be, a, going to be knocking on the door, so we'll have a look. Second of the two bites, which young Steve was on hand to assist with on this one. 24 pound common. I don't catch too many commons out of here, so this is lovely, isn't it? Little golden common and you, my little darling was on the 15 mil. Yep, the 15 mil, the right hand rod, yellow hit and run. They obviously like a little bit of lunch of meat, don't they? They're, <laughs> They're loving the meat, Stevie. You, little naughty little boy, 24 common. That's one of them off. Now, I hope the one in the net ticks off the next bracket because it doesn't definitely don't tick off the next one down. So, 20 pounder, done. Oh, yeah, much bigger fish. Right then, Ian, time for the moment of truth. Right, we've had a 24. This one is considerably larger. Right, Steve, you can call it. That is... Just under 32. Oh, 31 pounds. I don't know what we call it, 31 and a half, because it doesn't really matter, does it? Number two, done. Ha ha ha, how's that? B2, I did say it's my favourite linear venue. B2 produces the goods yet again. 31 and a half and a 24 common. And that's the first cast and the second cast with that three rod set up. So how good is that? So now we've changed our goal, we need a a mid double, an upper double, and a 35 plus. Why not? We've only just got here. Thank you very much, Mr. 30 Pounder. And there you go, amongst Bray's nose's finest. A nice low 30. Look at him. They are so chunky, aren't they, these fish? Solid, healthy, chunky. On to the next one. Right, a minute ago, it was panic stations because we had, a, we had a camera on the rods, like you do, and it started to really heavy drizzle. So also, like you do, we're running around hiding the cameras from the weather. Just put me cup of tea to me lips. Left hand rod, beep, 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 beep. Now I've got these clutches done so tight because I'm trying to make the fish rise up even on the take, because there is still a lot of debris in that in, in B2, which is why I like it. It's got a lot of bars, weed beds. Well, this fish is um, strange, this one. He's on the top all the way in. So let's hope we get him in. Number three. Now, after them, the first two bites, I did, I put out just three, three spoms of the meat and corn. It does it on here, I think, do you know a lot of it on here, I think it's the noise, bang, bang, bang. That's well, you know, when they're in the area and when they want a bit of grub. Well, there you go, I'm waffling now, so let's, hopefully we get this one in. Do you know, never in my life before have I, have I wished for a double. <laughs> so we can, we can scratch another one off a little, double or a, or a 35 plus. No, no more of them 20s. Yeah, that's...
lovely mirror. Look at that. The colours on him. £26, bird fish of the day. Half past four, three takes so far, 24, 26 and a 31 and a half. <clears throat> I really want to double, crazy isn't it? They've moved off, I, I, I keep every half hour cut and spawn, because just on here you keep that little bit of noise going in, but they are definitely bang on. The 31 that I had was, was passing through it, should we say politely, loads of this uh, sweet corn and a little bit of the old lunch of meat. So, um, but I'm seeing them now, but 80 yards to me right, same range, typical B2, they'll move through you, one, two, maybe three takes, and then they'll either carry on or they'll back off again. There's lots of baited areas out here, why choose mine? I'll tell you why, because it's dynamite. They but, love the meat. But uh, they like the meat. Steve has done me proud, let him cut up his meat. So, ever hopeful for more, and it is crazy, <laughs> or a double, or a 40 pounder, you know, there's probably 10 in here, something like that anyway, and a lot of big 30s. So, you know, let's not forget it, there is a challenge, but it's a nice fishing trip. It's unusual for me to go to a lake where you're likely to get multiple takes. So, settle in, we've got two nights ahead of us, and one more whole day tomorrow, and um, Nearly almost time for another cup. Do you know what? I've had two cups so far, about that much out of it, and wallop. So I'm going to do a cup of tea in a second for me and the youngster, the little young man, and hopefully we will or won't get to drink it all. Catch you later. Second common of the day, 22 pounds. Why couldn't you have been 1912? What a gorgeous, gorgeous braised nose to almost silver common. Thank you very much anyway. Thought his little heart out this one. On the 12 miller again. Literally, it's just started slicking up and beep, 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 whoosh, we were in. Good morning from Brazenose 2. Um, look at this weather now. Now this is deceiving because last night, it's, it's not often in my angling, I'm actually praying to not get a bite. It was a storm of all storms last night. It was gale force winds and literally torrential rain all night. The last hour, the skies have opened and it's now dry everything out all over the floor. Uh, I didn't know that I had a fish just in the dark, 25 pounder that we were actually praying was a 19 pounder and it died for me, which is, as I say, there's certainly no complaints there, because I'd have had to have an arc this morning to go and get my gear. So um, the day ahead of us, we've got the whole day and tonight yet to do, what have I got left to do? A mid double, an upper double, and because I opened my big fat gob yesterday, a 35 pounder. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so if I don't get the 35 pounder, fine because that was my part of the uh, challenge but all joking aside we've got the day ahead of us and another night they give it not being nice today the fish are showing all over the lake i've just readdressed the rods now just put another dozen spawns of uh, steve's meat and my sweet corn out there gonna stick the kettle on sit back and enjoy some rays oh a little bit of breakfast what have we got what have you got? I ain't telling you because you'll want it. No, you've got my food, haven't you? I don't think I have now. I think the mice... Yeah, here, here's might, a little one. I might have to be meat. Go up and just shut I want to talk now. <laughs> right, this is a weird one, and Steve laughed his head off. Two o'clock this morning, I get up to answer the call of nature. A little wee-wee. I looked to me, we, the, we've all got a bucket... Don't. We've all got a bucket of water that we... You know, you balance your baits in, yeah, just inside the bivvy door. What the hell is that? There was a mouse, I swear to you, no bigger than that. Doing the little what breaststroke. Was that big of you? It was just the mouse. <laughs> it was going around in circles in me water. He couldn't get out. So, me being a nature-loving person, got my little spot scoop, got him out, took him over to the bushes, 
let him go. Now, if karma does not allow me either a double or a 35 plus, there's something wrong. I'm going to find that mouse tonight and put him back in the bucket. There, I've done my bit for the Attenborough cause. Okay, so now, sit down, as I said, dry stuff out, get on with the day's angling. Morning. Now, just saying to Stevie, it's half past 10, about 11 o'clock. I fish this swim a lot. Usually late morning, early afternoon, you start picking up in this open water. But it's half past 10, so let's turn up early. And it's so as a shower, which is, as you can see, is ruining my hairstyle. Absolutely terribly conditioned. You want strands. Here, another one. But the good thing is you can do that, it doesn't really matter. This, this thing flat rodded me for about 10 yards. Coming easy now though. Nice to get a bite. Last bite was seven o'clock yesterday evening, although I'm not bemoaning that like I said earlier, because it was absolutely torrential all night. There we go. I'll say every one of them has found a little bit of um, something to wrap themselves around. Yeah, he's a good one, isn't he? He's definitely a good one, mate. This is one angry fish. One angry, angry fish. So would I be if I had a, a size four wide gape. Well, he's a good fish. With the fish safely retained in the net, I wasted no time getting the rod straight back out, where hopefully there'll be another carp waiting. Bang! That landed on a lump of concrete. Don't want to now. Oh, yeah. is ever closer to the 35 pound that my big gob said yesterday. 33 pound on the nose, fought like a real Trojan this one. And look at the length of that, look, whoop, look how long he is. An amazing car, first one of the morning. And I literally had said to Steve, it's half 10. I fished this peg a fair bit in the past and it's usually 11 o'clock onwards. So she's turned up early. Yesterday they turned up early to mid afternoon. So we've got a nice early bite. And what a bite that is. 33 pound cannot be anywhere near disappointed with that. With the low 30 pounder retained safely and the weather only improving, it didn't take long before I was in once again, bent into another hard fighting B2 car. Another typical B2 carp in the shape of this stunning mid 20 pounder. It's amazing what half a dozen spawns can do for sitting there idle, to be fair. Not 10 minutes after putting half a dozen. More hits of bait out. The left hand one went, and unfortunately, whilst playing that, which is, again, I'm gonna say it's my favorite lake because it's got so many bars and bits out there, that one resulted, whilst playing it, a real slow bite, but whilst playing it resulted in a cut off. So that rod is now laying on the gravel behind, and I've just literally put a new leader on it, and um, the middle one dropped back. They just do not want to give up. So all that lunch for me to eat. Because he does look like one of the smallest yet, but you know he's going to be a 20 pounder. Thank you. 
if you're going to almost complete your challenge with a double 19 pound on the nose there is no better fish to do it with look at that now any lake in the country would be quite proud to own this little critter look at him that is absolutely stunning i hate the word absolute you know but on this one that's absolutely stunning. 19 pound. Steve has just informed me the last piece of the puzzle, the jigsaw, is going to be 15 pound and under. Well, because everything we've had, and Steve's caught a few to be fair, is like almost 20 pound and over, I think that's going to be a miracle, but we're getting bites now fairly regular, so we'll keep at it. Whenever I'm fishing over bait, I always make sure to clip up the sticks every time to ensure that I'm fishing directly over the spotted area. Right, what we have here basically is what I use on most places. It's a size four big point, which is almost a wide gate uh, hook. Now I use these on my Ronnie's rather than the medium curves these days. It just allows the bait to sit closer to the lake bed. Little yellow hit and run. 32 pound Optimex boom, four and a half ounce lead, and one of our lead clips with a little pin that goes through it. It's just a system that I find, bear in mind I go to a lot of different venues, I find it the most reliable I've ever, ever used. And on that note, that design, that needs to be 100 yards out there. And, uh... Well, the weather's really stirred them up, you know. Just having double. Hoping this is 14. Now, all you're going to hear me saying now is 14 pound 12, but I don't know that there's only that small in here. So that's the challenge. Oh, forgetting the other one, uh, 35 pound. But um, this is quite the same rod. I've literally thrown it out, photograph, weighed the double, bosh, middle rod again. It's just um, standard. To be fair, it's a standard braze nose when it's on form, and it is obviously on form. This bloody thing's going around the corner. We keep getting this many bites, it's got to be. You'd like to think one of these big girls is going to show up, wouldn't you? Lovely! 12 pounds! <laughs> Ian, I've seen a lot of people add on weights and scales, but I've never seen the minus weight on the scales. That's more like 25 pounds. It is 24 pounds, yeah, that's which like I'd it. like to say was half that weight, but another 20 from an amazing 20s and 30s venue. Keep plodding away, keep eating them bites. There's a 12 to 13 pounder out there somewhere with my name on it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. <sighs> Today is a good day. And I'm... Look at so many bites. Listen, there's, there's a lot of fish in here, over 35 pounds. And I am saying to my man, my man, it's, um, oh, hand on nearly fell off. I'm surprised. One hasn't come along yet because there are a lot of them here over the 35 mile. Feed them, cast at them, catch them. There you go. Very wise, 
Mm, come in. Mind you, we said that before, and then when I get the net, they turn it like being in mid-20s. Here's a little one, isn't he? Well, you've got two fish in the net that might just pass you the extended challenge. That is a little one. Look at him. Ooh. Oh, he's close right. to what you need. Big one. Yeah? On the mat with the big one first. A nice deep one, that one. Right. Now, I've on a B2 Jules. 31 and a half. That's the third 30 of the trip. Never going to complain about this. This is so much fun. Just getting bite after bite. And I've got one in the net that might be the low double that I'm absolutely praying for. So I'm not ungrateful for 31 and a half. That is one lovely, lovely fish. But I'm going to slip him back and have a little look at that little one. Eee. So we've had a 17 and a half, which I thought, yes, we've done it. <sighs> which we hadn't. Clearly. Now we've got 16 where I thought, yes, we've done it. We haven't, clearly. I think Steve is making different rules up. But listen, what a corking little fish. Look at that. You know, ever nearer, ever closer. It is weird, but you're not going to moan at that. 16, I'm going to show, I'm going to, show, I'm going to turn him around actually, because I've got two scales on this shoulder that are massive. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it? It's actually raining, but not in the fish. <laughs> Look at the scales on the shoulder of that fish. That is, that's going to be called scale on the shoulder. No, that is lovely. 16 pounds, not going to moan at that. I do wish you were 14, 12, mate, or 15 on the button, but you're not. So we'll keep punching the bag till we get one, 15 or under. It's for the face of desperation. It does feel a good fish, this one. We've got it's gone way around to the left there. What a serious looking face. You know, for, for something that we massively enjoy doing, you do that, that serious face. Hold on, keep coming. Gotta be due. One of these big heavy ones in here, because so there is so many in here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give him 10 out of 10 for battling. Because that did have me shaking at the knees a little bit. And I did say to Steve, this one definitely feels like different gravy, but there you go. First one in the morning. And hopefully not the last. Now this one gave me the impression it was the one I wanted. A real big heavy one. This was Mighty Mouse. And Steve just said to me, oh look, a linear at linear 25 pounds loads of these coming through what a 20s water this is i don't know how many of these we've had it's either that or them scales are stuck on 25 pounds but all joking aside first one of the morning a few hours left to maybe try and get that 35 plus that i mentioned the other day and 15 minus with that in mind rod back out you can go back and see your buddies a linear at linear now it's about time I showed you exactly what I'm up to. So first of all, here yeah, look, that is the end of two complete full buckets. As you can see, I have mastered the lunch of meat chopper upper, which is what I'm calling it. But old but gold, lunch of meat and sweet corn. The old is the lunch of meat, the gold is obviously the corn. It smelt that lunch of meat. You'd want that on your salad, I absolutely promise you. But they're loving it. I've had loads of bites, just keep topping it up. And that, I mean, you just never see anyone. When I go to the, the small day ticket fisheries with people of my age, using one rod for float and one rod on a ledger, they usually got lunch with me on one rod, but I don't ever see it in the carp fishing world. That included my world as well. So from now on, 
I shall be requesting a few sachets of, of, of luncheon meat. As I say, now I've mastered the choppy uppy machine and that is going on. They've absolutely loved it. Another bite on an extremely windy day. Even getting the rods back in position on a recast is proving to be a nightmare. If I was fishing half a rap beer, I could do that. But fishing at 100 yards is, um, that wind with heavy mono catches it every time. I don't want you going over there, mate, because you're going to pick them other lines up. Ooh. How about that then? The end of Carp Pursuit 3 on Bray's Nose 2. Unfortunately, failed the challenge, which was a low double, an upper double, a 20 and a 30. Now, to be honest, I've had three 30s and a few 20s, an upper double, and I failed on the low double, but that's not a reflection on this lake. To not get a low double and to want a low double, for me, is a bit of a miracle, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. What a lovely trip this has been. Lots of bites, stuck to the game plan, yellow hit and runs, sweet corn, and that age old favorite of luncheon meat that never gets used. 29 pounds of long lean, braised nose two, mirror carp to end a wonderful trip. <laughs>